Taurus. Welcome to the weekly love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. This is from October 12th to the 21st. Hello, oldies and newbies. So for those who are new to my channel, I always go to my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing directly or energy that someone within your, within your environment is experiencing or someone that you're energetically attached to is experiencing. And it is energy, so it can be reversed or vice versa, okay? Then we're gonna go ahead and do the pre-shuffle on screen and then we're gonna go ahead and do the tarot reading. Taurus, I loved the energy I was feeling off of you. It was really sweet. It was really sweet energy. It was really beautiful energy. It was really positive. It was also a little comical. <laughs> comical. I don't know what Comic-Cons came out of my mouth. Uh, comical, okay, a little bit. So like the very second I tapped into your energy, I heard cheese. <laughs> I was like, cheese. I was like, oh, big cheese? Maybe you're the big cheese, Taurus. Or maybe that's what you've been striving for is to be the big cheese at work or, you know, in you know, in your romantic life. Maybe you want a lot of people coming after you, or maybe just between you and your partner, you want to be the breadwinner, the one who provides. This is very Taurian, especially for my male Taurians who are watching or masculine uh energy Taurians who are watching here. Um but then Taurus, I, I got something really awesome for you, okay? A lot of you are coming to some money. I actually saw like a pile of money, okay? <laughs> I actually saw that. I don't think you're actually going to like take a pile of money home and like throw it on the bed or anything like that. But I think a lot of you are coming to some abundance. Maybe you guys are getting a promotion, a bonus of some kind, a settlement, a payout. Either way, it's something that you've been waiting for and it's something that you definitely have worked hard for and it's something that you definitely deserve, okay? It felt very, very positive. Um, Taurus, I do feel like for some of you, this is just an energy of wealth, not necessarily having that money, only for some of you, some of you like, I saw the money. I did see the money, Taurus. I'm just saying. But some of you, I feel like you're having this energy of wealth, this energy of abundance because of someone that you're interacting with or a situation you're finding yourself in. A lot of you, I do feel like this is a romantic situation that you're finding yourself in. And it honestly feels really precious and really sweet. I saw a deer and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Taurus, and you know, I have to be honest with what I was picking up on. I got a kind of an interesting download for you with this deer energy. I feel like you're kind of dealing with a deer person or that's just kind of the energy that you kind of see them as. Very sweet, very transparent, very transparent. And Taurus, I don't think you were always as transparent with this person or, you know, maybe you just went into it thinking that they were kind of like everyone else or that you went into it in any other way you'd approach relationships, right? Taurus is, is like, you go in there very direct, you go in there head first, you're not gonna show all your cards because you are a Taurus, um, and you do like to take charge of the situation, take control of the situation if you can. Um, you didn't realize you were dealing with such a transparent, uh, sweet energy. I'm not saying this person is timid or weak. It's a sweet, transparent energy. And I don't think you realize that's what you were dealing with, Taurus. And this energy has kind of inspired you a little bit and kind of like, oh, I need to soften my approach. I need to like be a little bit more transparent like this. This person's inspiring you, Taurus. It really feels very positive. And I feel like that's actually going to be helping you in your career as well. So for some of you, this person is just like, not like a game, well, no, yeah, a game changer. A little bit of a game changer for you. And of course, this can be vice versa, right? So keep that in mind. Um... And I feel like this person's also teaching you that not everyone has an agenda. Ooh, Taurus. Not everyone has an agenda. This person's teaching you this. And you're kind of amazed by it. And I think it's been very confusing for you for a while since you met this person. Um, however long you've known them, I feel like when you first met them, however long ago that was, it was a little confusing for you because it was like, what are they up to? What are they up to? No one's this transparent. No one's this honest. No one's this sweet. What do they really want from me? And then you realized oh, they just, they're, they're just like that. <laughs> they're just like that. Uh, and it's kind of really taking you aback, Taurus, but you like it. You like it a lot. You find it to be very precious and very valuable. Almost, I just got the word priceless, almost priceless in a characteristic of when it comes to people because you've never experienced that before. At least the Taurians I'm tapped into, okay? So it feels really good. feels really yummy. feels really awesome. However, Taurus, it does feel a little bit of like, keep in mind this can be vice versa. Just the messenger, don't shoot me of oh maybe i misjudged this person and maybe i need to kind of like make a little bit of an amends with this person or kind of be like st you know step to them a little differently than how i have been because you are approaching them how you would other people people who have agendas and this person doesn't okay so let's go again yeah <laughs> So let's go ahead and go ahead oh my god and get into the pre shuffle actually let me get a little bit of water first source hold on a second mm. Mm, okay Yes, now let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle. If I can talk. 
Oh, I'm going to be using Legacy Deck for the primary for you guys. I felt drawn to it. There's, and the, oh, why am I getting metal? Getting something about metal. What is this? There's some, well, I don't know. I don't know if you guys work with metal or, or what, but I'm getting like metal pipes, but it feels like holding them, holding them, handling them. Oh, maybe you guys are plumbers. Maybe some of you are plumbers. Like, what else would you hold metal bars for? I'm just seeing a lot of metal bars. It's not the gym. I feel like some of you guys just asked me that. No, it's not the gym. <laughs> it's like, it's very like industrial kind of metal pieces. That's coming. I'm seeing that. I don't know. I don't know why I'm seeing that. I feel like it's relating to someone's career or someone's work. A mill? Is that the right word? A mill? I just heard mill. I know nothing about that kind of stuff. A mill? They're giving me the word mill. Maybe some of you guys work in mills. Or they do. I don't know. That's very interesting. Something about going back to nature. Oh, Taurus. Okay, sorry. Like a lot of little messages right there. Taurus, whoever it is you're dealing with, it's like they are inspiring you quite a bit, but they're also like making you kind of look at yourself and like looking back a little bit and maybe realizing like, oh, you know, I've changed a lot over the years. We always do. Why right? We always change. Right? We're never the same person the next day, ever, ever. Um... But it's like, you know, I kind of like some aspects of what I used to be like. Oh, Taurus. Oh, I feel a little bit of a soul retrieval here for some of you. Okay, I like that. I like that. Let's go ahead and do the pre-shuffle. Get the cards calibrated to your energy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I just saw a, a hog. Why did I just see a hog? Like, very specifically a hog. Um... I don't know the spiritual meaning behind that. I know pigs in general are about like intelligence and wisdom, but a hog, I mean, I feel like that's very different because they are technically different animals. Pigs are like very domesticated. Hogs are wild and they're a little aggressive and dangerous and loud actually. <laughs> I only know that from personal experience. Oh, Taurus. I kind of like this. For some of you, this person or someone you're dealing with, right? Take all these messages as they resonate. Um, really kind of brings something out in you that's primal. Yeah, this is like all about going back to nature. I don't know what the theme is of going back to nature, back to the original, back to OG, back to origins, back to the wild a little bit here. Yeah, there's something about this per- um, Oh, that that's what it is, Taurus. That's something about this person that um, I actually think you're having a hard time accepting about them. They're a little wild. They're sweet, they're transparent, but they're untamed. They just are who they are. They're untamed. And there's something about that that you really like, but I think you're also having a trouble accepting it. Try, if you're getting triggered by that, it might be because you kind of wish you were a little bit more untamed. Okay, Taurus? You know, Tor Taurians, I feel like you guys get a bad rap. Okay? I feel like you guys get a bad rap for being like the bullhead, bull, bullhead, not the bullhead, bullheaded, excuse me, bullheaded or stubborn or, you know, just getting in there and doing your shit. And so sometimes I find Tor Tauruses try really hard to not be that way or to curb that, that natural part of them. So, you know, Tor Taurians, I can speak, I feel like some of you are realizing that you've tamed a lot of that part of you and it's just like, no, <laughs> I don't want to be tamed like that. I want to be untamed like that. I want to be untamed like them. And it's like, it's it's inspiring you to kind of undo that. It's inspiring to kind of undo that kind of training that you've given yourself. Oh, I like it. Taurus, I like it. I really like it. I like it a lot. Okay, okay. Pre shuffle, pre shuffle. Please bring forth messages. <laughs> <laughs> Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. I'm seeing the Sun card. Ooh, I'm seeing the Sun. Yeah, Taurus, there's something about this person that's inspiring you to kind of check yourself and be like, wow, I've really toned down my personality or I've really reined myself in for the sake of other people. Mm. Or people pleasing. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. And you're realizing that and you're like you're you're kind of appreciative but at the same time I do think that aspect of this person did trigger you at some point in time. Again, when we get triggered, it's only because we gotta look at ourselves, right? Pleasing forth messages of truth, feeling, and love for those who need it. That's why this person's untamed, because they're transparent. Mm. 
Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. I'm also seeing construction. A lot of you guys could work in construction. I'm seeing scaffolding. Taurus, I feel like you've been in the process of building for yourself, building something, whether it's just your career, your home, what have you. You've been in the process of building for yourself. You want to incorporate this person. I can tell. I can feel it. Because the fact that they've inspired you, and I feel like you don't get inspired too often by people, at least the Taurians I'm tapped into, again, it could be vice versa. Um, you're like, oh, that could be a very integral part of what I'm building. I like it. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Many moons. Why did I just hear many moons? I don't know why I just heard many moons, but I heard many moons. Take that as you will. It's been a long time. What, am I here? Am I hearing a conversation? It's been a long time. It's been a long time since you felt this way, Taurus. I like where this is going. It's getting me all tingly in my slack girl, just saying. Uh, uh, please bring forth messages. Okay, there we go. Wow. Five of swords, Venus and Aquarian energy, and the six of pentacles, uh, Taurian energy, excuse me. I'm getting a couple things with this, actually. Taurus, like I said, for some of you, you might have taken it on a different approach, like an approach that you normally take on with people because you think people have an agenda. You kind of want to make amends for that. Some of you want to make amends for that, for sure. Also, I'm getting that, like, <clears throat> excuse me, that five of swords is kind of like a shell a little bit. It's the ego. It's the ego. It's a very ego heavy card with the five of swords. You've, you've, you know, used your ego to tame yourself, used your ego to kind of put, not put on a show. I don't want to say it that way, but to make yourself socially appropriate. I'll put it that way. To make yourself socially appropriate, but at the same time, standing up for yourself and not letting anyone bulldoze you. That six of pentacles is balancing that energy out. Yeah. Taurus, I feel like you're like finding your groove again and like almost in a way refinding your refinding, rediscovering, that's a word, rediscovering yourself a little bit because of this inspiration that you're getting from this person or situation. I do feel like it's a person and for a lot of you it is romantic, it could also be a friend or a family member, but you are finding a nice equilibrium of that, like where you can be more of your wild Taurian self unapologetically, but at the same time, you know, be socially appropriate. And also, like I said, for those who maybe have taken on not the greatest approach, uh, making amends for that and balancing that out. Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, I do also feel that payout energy that I was getting with the money. Taurus, if someone did you wrong, you're definitely getting um, apologies for that or amends for that or reparations. I, just, I did just hear reparations, reparations for that. Some of you that reparations are legal. Wow, yeah, five of pentacles in reverse Taurian energy. You got two fives and one six here. Five of pentacles in reverse. Coming out of that place where you just don't feel free, right? Like I said, you're feeling like that wild Taurus bull energy again. I like it. It's really good. It feels really, really good. Um, I'm also getting that like coming out of like isolation or coming out of the cold here to make amends or to have someone make amends to you, okay? So you could have been going through financial struggles recently and you were very determined to turn that around and you're turning that around, okay? Please bring forth messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, October 12th to the 21st. Keep in mind, this is still just the pre-shuffle, okay? Messages can pertain to the reading. They usually do, but if they don't, it's just extra messages for other people that need to be heard. Oh my, not of swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. This is happening very fast. This, yeah, this balancing out, making apologies, reparations, all of that is, will be happening very, very fast. Um, there is a sense of drama about it, though, which I don't really like. I'm getting a little bit ac accusatory energy here. I think that's part of what's being made, um, being apologized for or being made up for. Thank you. Blazing forth messages of truth, healing, and love. Oh, King of Cups, Scorpionic energy could also be water. Or air. Oh, there's love here. <laughs> oh, Taurus, not to mention this is Scorpio, your natural seventh, your natural counterpart here, okay? Yeah, there's love here. There's definitely love here. For those where this is a romantic situation, uh, this is definitely making amends, whether it's you or the other person, with love. With love. Strong love at that in mind. 
Oh, okay. Whoa. Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Page of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, Jupiter energy here. You know, the Page of Pentacles and Ace of Pentacles in reverse, it seems like there's there was some kind of missed opportunity or instabil instability. I can't ever say that. Instability? Why does that not sound like a word? I know that's a word. Instability that needs to be made up for, right? Wheel of Fortune in reverse, a lot of stagnancy until, that's, until that will happen. A lot of stagnancy until that will happen. Uh, Page of Pentacles, I do feel like a in-person conversation or in-person kind of discussion here happening approach. Thank you. In-person approach. You're going to hear the person's voice. I don't think it's going to be over the phone. I don't think it's going to be over the phone. I think it's going to be like a text message of, hey, can we talk? And then you go meet somewhere and talk. I like it though, Taurus. It feels good. A lot of pentacle energy too. Like I said, Samuel will be coming into some money. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the reading here. For those who are new to my channel and new to tarot, please understand these messages are very, very general. They are not for everyone. Uh, messages come through for those who need them. So if it's not your week, it's not your week and that's okay. There's plenty of other readers on YouTube that are fabulous. Check them out. We are working with energy. So like I said, energy can be reversed or vice versa. So if it's resonating, but the roles are reversed, switch the roles. You know who you are in the story. You don't need me to tell you that. Um, anyway, also don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. Nothing is gender specific. We all have masculine and feminine energy. Okay? All right. Let's get started, Taurus. I need glasses that fit my face. <laughs> I'm so tired of like pushing these up. Okay. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Any messages for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Any messages for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? This is weird. I'm getting like a comedian energy. Some of you guys could be comedians. I don't know. But I'm getting a comedian energy. Maybe you're going to watch stand-up. I just, I feel like, la I feel laughter. I yeah, Like, yeah, I'm just, I don't, maybe you're, maybe you, you like to joke around a lot, Taurus. Maybe you like to joke around a lot. I don't know. I don't know why that just came in through. Or came through. Any messages for Taurus? Yeah, some of you guys are practicing jokes. Yeah, some of you guys are practicing jokes. That's interesting. Any messages for Taurus? Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Pitch. Oh, some of you guys need to be... Oh, God, I'm picking a lot of different stuff here. Taurus, some of you guys, part of your job is like to pitch ideas. Maybe you're in advertising or marketing. Um... Pitching an idea. Wait, didn't we have this for you recently? We had this for you recently. I swear we had this for you recently. I swear we had this for you recently. I feel like, I, am I like reliving a timeline? Am I having deja vu? I know, I know, I know. We've had this for you before, Taurus. Okay, so that reading, I swear I did that reading at some point in time. Uh, whoever isn't resonating with that, you might resonate with this one. Any messages for Taurus regarding love? October 12th to the 21st. Oh, love starting with this card. Knight of Cups, Piscean Energy. It could also be water or fire. That is an offer of love, an approach of love. It could also be a charmer. So, you know, let's see what else comes out here. But it's also apologies, mature apologies at that. Oh, 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 oh my. Oh, Tori, this is going to be an awesome reading. <clears throat> an awesome reading. We have the Sun in reverse, Leo energy with the Star in reverse, Aquarian energy, and then we have uh, the Tower in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Could also be Aries because it's Mars energy. Aquarius and Leo are the one sevens of each other. I almost feel like these are representing the two people, the Sun and the Star. They are both stars here. We could be dealing with some star seeds out there. Just saying, there was a Tower moment, and that's why there's an apology. That's why there's an apology. There was a Tower moment here where it's almost just like, ugh, like joy got sucked out of the situation. Faith. No more faith in this situation. I'm also getting a little bit of like sadness, depressive energy with, with this tower moment. Whatever the tower is, curtain call. What the hell? Okay, I, th I feel like I'm talking to some comedians or like some kind of performers here. I just heard curtain call. There was a curtain call here, Taurus, between you and someone else. And there was a tower moment because of that. Apologies are coming in here and it will be good. You want to know why? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Six of Wands, Jupiter Leo energy with the King of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Could also be Earth or Air with the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn energy. Could also be Earth or Water. There will be victory here with this apology, with whatever this Tower moment was. And like I said, for some of you, you're definitely star seeds. okay? You would already know that, though. I don't think it would be a surprise. Let's see what else we have here. Wow. And not to mention, I'm sorry. 
I can't believe these came out together, like glued together. Definitely a true pair situation here. I feel like a very, very strong bond, very much kindred spirit. Um, also very much power couple, power couple energy. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? Yeah, I feel like there's been, there needs, yeah, I feel like this is the different approach, the softer approach, the transparent approach, not the approach of like, you're hiding something, what's your agenda? It's not that kind of approach anymore, Taurus, because you've learned. Again, it can be vice versa. Any other messages for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st? All right. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't ever have my reactions. Overall energy. Are you guys ready? Oh, yes. Ace of Cups. Oh, I love when this is the overall energy. I think this only happened like a handful of times ever since I started my channel. Yeah, overall Ace of Cups. Love. Love. That's it. Love. Love. A new beginning in love. Being in love. Doing shit for love. Love. <laughs> okay, lots and lots of love here. Starting with an apology or an approach of love. So, oh, that's weird. It was upright. I, I dropped it. Anyway, so let's go ahead and look at this Knight of Cups. Oh, Taurus. Oh, time of this Knight of Cups for Taurus. Regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. They're, they're bringing my attention again to that control. Like, definitely there's been a lesson learned of not needing to control situations. Not needing to control situations. Talking about Knight of Cups and not making assumptions about people. Talking about Knight of Cups. For Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Play about Knight of Cups for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Let's see here. Oh, mm hmm. This apology is for this Hermit energy, which is Virgo, Five of Swords in reverse, Aquarian energy, Venus and Aquarius be specific, and Judgment in reverse. Fire energy, also scorpionic energy for me as a reader. The apology is coming in after time being spent on what happened. What did I do? <laughs> Tor and again, the Taurus is that, you know, this isn't vice versa for. I feel like a lot of you, it's going to be vice versa, okay? I'm feeling like the very dear, like, precious energy is this Queen of Pentacles. I feel like I felt this energy before, like a dear person. I can't remember how many months ago, but it feels like it was months ago. And for those who remember, this will probably resonate. Anyway. Thinking about what happened, thinking about what was done, thinking about what was said. Was it me? Did I say something? Did I not say something? Was my approach off? What happened here? And judgment in verse realizing, oh shit, maybe I did mess up. Maybe I did mess up. Maybe apologies are in order. Apology. Let's see what else we got here. It's gonna be a very straightforward reading. Playing about Knight of Cups for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Play about Knight of Cups for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Oh, that's it. Overall, oh, wow. Ace of Pentacles. A new beginning. Got two aces here, by the way. Really nice aces, too. Ace of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. That's stability. That's love. And like we said, for some, it could also be a gift. Coming in hand with something. Coming to... <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> no words today. Coming with... Not, not empty-handed. <laughs> I can talk, I swear. Not coming empty-handed. Definitely, oh, you know, why do I feel the need to clarify that? I'm not going to clarify that. That feels a little extra nosy. But for some of you who are receiving this apology, because I know I've got some queens watching that are receiving this apology. If it's vice versa, it's vice versa. Um, they're coming with a gift of some kind, okay? For sure. If you've been with this person for a while, like a long while, and maybe you guys had argued over... I don't know, engagement or whatever. It could be an engagement ring. But I don't I don't feel like that's the case, though. I don't feel like that's the case because I feel like this was about initial assumptions and approaches going wrong and learning from that. That'd be very quick to bring an engagement ring. But I do feel like there's something in hand. I do feel like there's something in hand here, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and look at this. Let's look at the tower moment that messed this up. <laughs> let's look at this past tower moment, okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Spellcasters. Play with the tower in reverse. Play with the tower in reverse for Taurus. Regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. 
Flame of the Tower in reverse for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Flame of the Tower in reverse for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Uh, just saying, uh, whoever messed up or did the wrong approach here, uh, might've, might've been perceived as ghosting, might've been perceived as ghosting. Time of the Tower in reverse for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Wow. Ho, ho, ho. Oh boy. Queen of Cups. Cancerian energy could also be Pisces or Scorpio with the star in reverse Aquarian energy. Yeah, this is that feminine energy here, that, that Queen of Pentacles. Wouldn't be surprised if it's also an Empress as well um, to come, come out as two different queens. But star in reverse, whatever this tower moment was, uh, this person lost a lot of faith in this king here, okay? Lost a lot of faith very quickly. I feel a lot of hurt with this. But it's interesting because I don't think anything was really said explicitly on behalf of this feminine energy. I can feel it. The feminine energy's been hurt, but it's almost like a refined, like, I can keep shit to myself. Like, oh, I'm not going to waste my breath. Oh, 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 okay. Time of the Tower in reverse for Taurus. I just heard Aquarius. I do have a lot of Aquarian energy here. Tell me about the Tower in reverse. Oh, Four of Wands, Aries energy. Yeah, this feminine energy lost faith in a connection. Lost faith in a relationship. Lost faith in a foundation here. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. And it's not even like... I. I <coughs> excuse me. I feel like it was mostly from the approach on this king that made this queen lose faith, but it could also be an energy of like ghosting. I keep, I keep be getting pulled back into that. Mm. Like lost faith that it'll ever happen. Keeping it to herself though, keeping it to herself, not telling anybody, not saying anything, even to the masculine energy, didn't say anything. So I have the tower in reverse for Taurus. <sighs> Seven of wands, Leo energy, but now they're defensive. Mm -hmm. now they're defensive oh i'm also feeling the sun energy feels blocked from relationships wait what is this mm. this feminine this feminine energy almost feels like do i have a curse on my head wow it's kind of yeah it's like wh why does this not work out why do i why am i always blocked from these situations why am i always blocked from relationships I'm, I'm just losing faith now. I'm just going to be losing faith. I'm losing faith. I'm losing faith. I'm losing faith. I'm losing faith I'll ever find that person. I'm losing faith that it'll ever work out in the way that I needed to. Wow. You know, to my queens that are watching who are feeling that way, who are resonating with that, sometimes it's just about timing. I know, I know. Don't shoot the messenger. I know it can be a frustrating message, but it's just true. Sometimes the relationships we... Jesus, I can't talk. Sometimes we don't have relationships. We don't get into committed relationships because it's not the right time. And that's just the truth of it. Where you'll be better off being on your own because maybe you got to focus on you. Maybe you got other shit you got to do. Maybe a relationship would impede you from doing something big and amazing, right? Um, or even just ha needing that period of time to grow as a person. Sometimes we need that. Sometimes we need that. But that's what I'm feeling with this. And now this queen is also very defensive towards this, this masculine energy. Very defensive. But at the same time, they feel like their wish fulfillment of having that balanced, healthy relationship is never going to happen. They feel blocked from it. They actually feel like spirit is blocking this and that their wish fulfillment will never come through. Time of the Tower in reverse. Time of the Tower in reverse. They feel a little defeated. Oh, wow. Time of the Tower in reverse for Taurus regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Time of the Tower in reverse for Taurus regarding love, October 12th to the 21st. Yeah, last two cards, that lovely Five of Swords again. Venus and Aquarian energy and Knight of Pentacles in reverse Virgo energy. Could also be Earth or Fire. I do feel a lot of, excuse me, stubborn energy with this. Very stubborn, very much my way or the highway. Like both of these cards, the epitome of stubborn and persistence in the sake of what someone wants. I feel like this is the masculine's past energy. Yeah, I feel like this is masculine's past energy towards this queen. And I think generally towards relationships. And I think this queen just had it and was like, 
if it's not going to work with this king, someone who I'm a kindred spirit with, it's just never going to happen for me. Like what? And again, falling down that rabbit hole of why am I always blocked from relationships? Why am I always blocked from committed, healthy relationships? Again, queens, it's not about that. I do feel like it's more about divine timing thing. But you were dealing with someone who clearly wasn't ready at the time. They've had some time to think. They realized they've had a wrong approach about something here. Because um, it really does feel like it needs to be my way or needs to be on my terms. No. <laughs> I feel like that was the queen's response. No. Overall energy, we have page of wands in reverse. Wow. And then the ace of swords in reverse here. Page of wands in reverse can be bad news. It's my bad news card. Ace of swords in reverse can be lies or deceptions or illusions. I feel like it's, I feel like it's actually the king's energy here. I feel like they have their own like disillusionment of, from their ego of, well, this is the way I want it. This is the way I need it. And this way it's going to happen. And that was quite an illusion. <laughs> That was quite a disillusionment on the part of the king thinking that that was going to work. Like, if I'm just persistent enough, I'll get what I want. No, it didn't happen that way. No, the queen was like, no, fuck no. Like, the queen's like, as much as I want to be in a relationship, I don't want to be in this kind of relationship. Yep. All right. Moving on to the success here. <laughs> Moving on to the success of this this awesome little, you know, couple right here. Um, looking at the six of wands, I feel like this is after the apology comes in. So sometimes the cards come out like out of order, right? So like we just went over the past, but before that we went over the apology. So we just went over the past. We have the apology coming in. This is post apology. Let's look at the six of wands. Um, yeah, gilded. Look at the six of wands. For Taurus, find the Six of Wands for Taurus regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Find the Six of Wands for Taurus regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. I heard June. Something might have happened in June. Find the Six of Wands for Taurus. This power moment could have happened in June. Find the Six of Wands for Taurus regarding love. They keep telling me June. It's making me nuts. October 12th to the 21st. So I have the Six of Wands for Taurus. Regarding love. October 12th to the 21st. Ooh, Knight of Swords in reverse. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. The drama. Like I said, drama. I feel like a grand gesture with this, but with it being in reverse, I just don't like the extreme drama energy that I'm getting from that. I also feel like this is victory over past drama and this past tower moment. I'm also thinking about gossip and rumors. Gossip and rumors, gossip and rumors. This this king might have relied on the uh, word of mouth of others about this queen about something. That's only going to be for a few of you. You'll know if it's resonating with you. Hold on. Hmm. You'll know if that's resonating with you. Yeah, I just like listening to others, listening to, to others, and that really added to the disillusionment of the situation and approaching this queen in the wrong way and setting setting really poor not poor inappropriate i like i've been liking that word lately inappropriate expectations 206 of wands for taurus regarding love october 12th to the 21st so i have the six of wands for taurus Wow, Seven of Pentacles in reverse Taurian energy. This is a lot of restless energy. There's a lot of like movement too because Seven of Pentacles upright is very stagnant. When it's in reverse, it's like it's restless, some anxiety. Let's get this shit going. Let's get this shit moving. Not a swords in reverse can be very pushy. It can even be aggressive. It's very dramatic energy and it is moving energy. With the Six of Wands, another movement energy as well. Time of Six of Wands. Ah, I really feel, yeah, I feel like this king might be coming to this queen thinking they're going to get victory, but I don't like the way they're coming in. Tell me about Six of Wands for Taurus. Overall energy, Six of Cups in reverse. Scorpionic energy, Kelsey past life soulmate karmic energy. Yeah, yeah, I don't like this. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, could also be Aries or Leo. I feel unpredictable energy on part of this king in the past. In the past, this king was unpredictable. There was some violent energy with that as well. Wow. With the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy, and the freaking Three of Swords, Libra energy. This is all past energy of heartache. Also, this king has a lot of anxiety about coming in, but then they're just going to do it. They're just going to do it because they want to. They want to. They're restless. They're anxious to do it. 
A lot of anxiety too with that Nine of Swords. They're hurting. They're hurting without the Queen. They're hurting without the Queen, but they feel like if I just come in, like, what's that phrase? Balls blazing? Is that, is that the phrase? Why does that sound weird to me? <laughs> Guns blazing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why I thought that was the phrase. If they come in guns blazing, they think they'll have victory. I don't know if that's going to work, though. E. You know what? Let's take a look at this queen. I'm going to use the Norman deck on this one. How will the queen respond to this approach? As the energy stands now, how will the queen respond to this approach? Keep in mind, things can change based on free will, of course. And any timeline changes, obviously. I've been having a lot of those. <laughs> How will the queen respond to this approach as the energy stands now? How will the queen respond to this approach as the energy stands now? Oh, pathway with the queen of pentacles, no less. Energy of 22. This is being at a crossroads. So it's going to put them in like a two of wands energy. Let's see. How will the queen respond to this approach? They're going to think about it. They're going to think about it. I don't know how long they're going to think about it. Oh, communication, the letter, 27 bringing down to a nine. Ooh, seven of swords. They're a little suspicious. They're a little suspicious of this. Based off of what happened previously, it's kind of like you were this way before and now you're like aggressively coming in, guns blazing. Balls blazing. <laughs> Maybe they're horny. Maybe they got a case of blue balls. I don't know. Um, guns blazing wanting this to work why should i trust you how will the queen respond to this approach how will the queen respond to this approach how will the queen respond to this approach mm, yeah the tree energy of five with the seven of cups Seven of Cups, confusion, a little bit of confusion energy. They're going to have to think about it for a while. Well, not to mention you got two sevens here. Queen of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Seven of uh, Cups. I think this queen also just doesn't believe them straight out. I think, the, I think the queen might also suspect that this king has options. Yeah, with the tree, I'm getting like slow, slow thought, slow thought. This queen might take a while to decide. Let's see what other cards come out here. How will the queen respond to this approach? How will the queen respond to this approach? Overall, oh, they're going to be annoyed. Okay. We have mice. Energy of 23, bring it down to five, and a third seven. Seven of wands. Yeah, they're going to be defensive. Look at this. Hi. Look at this. If it'll focus. Hold on. Queen of pentacles. Seven of swords. Seven of cups. Seven of wands. Yeah, they're going to be annoyed. They're going to be annoyed. They're going to be ir they're going to be a little bothered by the approach. So kings, if you're watching, make sure you come in a little bit more tactfully. Remember, dear, gentle, transparent, don't got to be a bull in a china shop. It's like my phrases are not with me today. And I know they inspire you to be that way. And I know it's hard to learn to be that way if you've never been that way before, but soften the approach. Soften the approach here, okay? As the energy stands now, they're going to be annoyed. They're going to take a long time to think about it, okay? All right, let's get some advice. Actually, let's do Soul's Journey. I've been loving this deck a lot lately. Let's do Soul's Journey. Anything you want my Torians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Torians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Torians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Torians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Torians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything you want my Torians to be aware of regarding this spread? Let's see what this. Ooh, relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my highest good. Oh boy, isn't that a mouthful for this kind of reading? So like I said, this king definitely feels inspired by this queen. They understand what they did wrong, but they're still kind of coming in a little, a little an ego, a little too aggressive. Like it's cool that they're letting their wild side out a little bit more, um, but it, it soften, soften. <laughs> there's transparency and then there's just pure wild untamed energy, right? 
right? Um, but that's why this king is so drawn to this queen because they know this king is for this, this they know this queen is for their highest good. They know that this queen is, has a lot of shit going on, a lot of good stuff going on that can only benefit the king. They know that as far as their growth is concerned. They know that. However, I feel like the queen is, is mindset is, is this person right for my highest good? It's a good question. Right now, it seems like they got some stuff they still got to work on. Oh, friendship. I understand that a friend is in my life for a reason. Oh. This could have been a friendship turned romantic. It definitely could have been that way. Or there could also be an ally here trying to help the king or the queen. I feel like if, if there is an ally, it's on the side of the queen. I feel like the queen has an ally in all of this here. Um, oh, yeah. Also, there needs to be a better foundation between these two is actually what I'm getting. It's really good to have a really nice, strong, romantic connection. That's awesome. But it's great to also have a friendship as part of that as well, right? Like if you two can be friends and lovers it adds just a whole other component to the foundation to really strengthen that, right? So I mean, this is definitely a friend turned romantic. Also, I'm, I'm mm, watch your friends too, because I was getting that gossip energy, like people pleasing energy. Watch that. Like sometimes the reason we have friends is to learn, <laughs> is to learn what not to put up with is to learn, oh, you don't need to listen to everybody, right? And making sure that the relationships we choose, the friendships we choose are for those in our highest good. That could be just the pure lesson for some of my Taurians here, specifically the king of choosing the right people who really serve their own, who really serve their highest good. Who really serve their highest good. Let's see what else we got here. Anything else that my Taurians to be aware of regarding this spread? Anything else you want my Torians to be aware of regarding this spread? Overall, oh, happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. This king is following their happy place, which is their queen, which is their queen. And when they're not, when they're not with their queen, when they're away from their queen, they're not happy. So if you're not happy, you ain't on the right path. You're not following your purpose. And it's actually just a very clear indicator, even when it comes to your intuition. If you don't feel good about what you're doing, you shouldn't be doing it. If you don't feel good about who you're doing, you shouldn't be doing them. <laughs> right? Right. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to say that. Okay. Let's go into your spirit animal for advice here, and then we'll wrap it up. Where are we at? 42 minutes? Oh, I think I can do it without stitching the videos, without losing that one second. Any advice for my Torians regarding this spread? 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 Let's see what we got here. Oh, Grasshopper Spirit, take a leap of faith. 30 breaking down to a three. This is a fool card energy. This is believing that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And if I'm jumping and it feels right and I'm happy to jump, I will probably land in a safe spot to do it. I feel like this is about, I think, the, I feel like it's for the king. Going to that vulnerable place and owning up to their shit, right? Being honest and owning up to their shit. Um, but I also feel like this is for the queen's energy of like, queens, if something feels right, if it feels right, if it feels good, if you feel confident, if it makes you feel like I'm doing the right thing for myself and my higher self to accept this person, then do it. But it's all about what you feel intuitively and what you feel in your gut. If something does not feel right, don't do it. Right? Oh, Lord, that's so many cards. Um, oh, I feel like I gotta take all of them. Oh, that's so many. Okay, I'm gonna have to stitch these videos. Okay, <laughs> just so that you know. All right, so two came out together. We have Cat Spirit, Claim Your Independence, 13, Breaking Down to a Four, and Frog Spirit, Clear Out the Clutter, 28, Cyclical Energy. I'm getting that people-pleasing that the king is dealing with here, okay? Uh, with Cat Spirit, with Claiming Your Independence, it's quite literally that. It's not relying on other people. It's not being codependent. 
I do feel like this king has had codependent issues. My queens, you could have had some too. If you do, then you already know. You don't need me to remind you. But making sure you actually deal with those issues, clear out the baggage that's attached to that or makes you feel that codependent energy um, so that you can be more independent to have an interdependent relationship. But I feel like it's more for the kings and the queens here, okay? And then we have, ooh, a very nice interesting is what i meant to say lion spirit be generous of spirit 37 cyclical energy mouse spirit tend to the small things 40 breaking down to a four and wolf spirit turn knowledge into wisdom 67 breaking down to a four sometimes all someone needs is an apology that's actually what i'm getting with that which is interesting Ooh, i'm also noticing you got three fours and two cyclical energies four 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 with those cyclical energies but that's what i'm getting with this because with lion spirit lion spirit's about being very transparent, being very compassionate as well. And also checking the ego, having a healthy ego, not an overdeveloped ego that makes you act, you know, like my way, the highway kind of energy, right? Um, and with mouse spirit, tend to the small things with wolf spirit, I feel a maturity with this of like, it really is all about the details, right? It's all about the tiny things. Sometimes we don't need someone to go through the entire story and diatribe of what happened. Sometimes we just need a, I'm really sorry. That's it. Like sometimes it's all we need. <laughs> sometimes it's all we need, right? Um, and I know sometimes words are cheap too. Like sometimes, you know, you really want to see that action as well. But it's also the tiny little actions that say a lot, right? Where it's like, you know, the person actually calls you to make sure you're okay or checks up on you or, you know, knows that you prefer this, that or the other, knows you're struggling and tries to help you with something, right? It's like, it's that little shit. It's really the tiny actions and the tiny things that make the biggest difference here. It's not the grand gestures of, of gifts or money, right, that, that really buy people's hearts. And if that's the case, hey, I know that we also have the love languages and one of them is gifts, right? But a gift can also be an action. What makes people happy is what makes people feel really loved and appreciated when it's that, <laughs> when it's, what makes people feel loved and appreciated, it's the little shit. It's the little things that really brighten up someone's day. And that's just the truth of it. I mean, think back to like any time you've experienced that, if you've experienced that. I know not everybody has, which is really sad and unfortunate. Believe me, I'm in that boat too. Um, but that's really what it is, right? And learning that and being uh, more mature about that. Let's see what else we got out here. Yeah, for some of you, this king has tried to buy you in the past or will try to buy you. It's not going to be the right approach. Any other advice? Any other advice for my Torians regarding this spread? Any other advice for my Torians Ooh, regarding this spread? Okay. Now we've got... Oh! favorite card it got stuck to my shirt otter spirit you are never alone 42 breaking down to a six my two of cups six of cups lovers card i got your back you got my back i i love you unconditionally i'm always there for you kindred spirit card that connection is there this king just is catching up this king's catching up when it comes to their ego this king is catching up when it comes to how to communicate how to not make assumptions about people um and understanding that People can be transparent and not everyone has an agenda, right? Overall energy, oh, I like it, Taurus. Buffalo spirit, the abundant universe will provide. Another cyclical energy. You have three of these. You've got three cyclical energies. You have, if I can pick it up, three fours. And then the last two spirit animal cards, you have the three to the six, a doubling rate. I feel like this uh, king, this masculine energy is going to come in fast from when you guys watch this here. I do feel that way. But if they're watching, they might take a little longer to tweak their approach. I'm just saying, <laughs> because I know I've got some masculine energies that like to watch me. But anyway, so Buffalo Spirit, like I said, the abundant universe will provide. There will be abundance here. There will be an energy of wealth, whether you're actually getting a payout, Taurus, or there is a coming together because this queen makes this king feel rich. This queen makes this king feel abundant and secure and safe because this queen is very nourishing. They came, they came across as a queen of cups and a queen of pentacles. Those are the two queens that nurture everything. The queen of swords and queen of wands are awesome. Don't get me wrong. They are awesome. But the nurturers are the queen of pentacles and queen of cups. Queen of cups will nurture you emotionally. Queen of pentacles will nurture you physically and within your stability and within your money. Okay. Um, but Taurus, I really like this reading. It was pretty beautiful. There's a lot of beautiful energy between these two individuals. It's just a matter of forgiveness and trust. 
seems to be a theme for everybody right now, okay? And also understanding who really has your back in your life, both the king and the queen. Who can you really trust around you outside of the two of you? You understand what I'm saying? Because someone was, was being fed gossip and lies, like straight up lies, okay, about the other one for some of you, not for all of you, but just make sure that you've learned your lessons from the different friendships or soulmates that you have in your life, even if they're family related. Um, and make sure you've really learned those lessons and you're not carrying around people or still attached to people who are going to try to drag you down or drag your other person down because they don't want what's best for your highest good, okay? Also, make sure that you have established a really solid foundation between the two of you here, and that's really going to help, even if it takes time. Even with this approach, the queen's like, look, I don't want to jump into this right away. Can we just, like, try to be friends first? Or we can, can we, like, take it slow and really try to reestablish, a, like, a healthy foundation here to make this legitimate? You know, and some of you were friends before you became romantic, okay? Or some of you, this could be a friend where things maybe got a little weird, and now it's becoming romantic, okay? Ah. <sighs> Taurus, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to go on Patreon. Check that out along with Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will see you guys later. Have a great night, Taurus. Namaste.